Jesus, likewise also partook of the same. That's the incarnation. He became flesh and blood like us. That through death, he might render powerless the one who holds the power of death, that is, the devil. And might free those who through fear of death were subject to slavery all their lives. For assuredly, he doesn't give help to angels, but he gives help to the descendants of Abraham. And if you've been with me through this study of Genesis, Abraham is the father of the faithful. That includes us. And therefore, he had to be made like his brethren in all things, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For since he himself was tempted in that which he has suffered, he is able to come to the aid of those who are tempted. But did you catch that? He came to destroy the one who holds the power of death, which is the devil, so that he could set free those who all their lives have been held captive by a fear of death. I'm going to die. What does that mean? What comes after? Is there an afterlife? Is it heaven? Is it hell? How do I know? How do I get to the right place and not to the wrong place? It's all bound up in Jesus. He is the propitiation. He's the atoning sacrifice, some translations say, for our sins. Do I need to suffer from necrophobia? Not at all. Because Jesus sets us free from our fears. And so fear leads to bad decisions, which result in bad consequences. So let us live not by fear, but by faith in the one who sets us free. Would you stand as we sing? to join us today, both in person and online. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your um, beautiful weather and uh, day today and have a great week.